Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for tuning in to our final home tour in this house. We are going to be moving next month, fingers crossed, providing everything goes smoothly and at the rate that it's currently going because it has been a long, long, long process thus far. So I wanted to do one last home tour in this house to give you guys a bit of a catch up since we did all of the renovations starting in late 2019 slash early 2020. And also just a gentle reminder that we do have a dedicated home account over on Instagram as well. That's where you're more than likely to see kind of first snippets of the new house and any future projects that we do as well. And I'm actually currently sharing some fun before and after shots of this house where you're gonna see the house over 10 years ago before we moved in versus now. So it's at Emma Hill Home. The name will be on the screen. We'll pop a link down below in the description box as well. And just as an additional side note, just to keep you guys super busy if you need some content to keep you entertained, uh, we do also have the home playlist over here on YouTube as well so I'm sure I'll reference this throughout the tour in this video but basically we have dedicated videos to each one of the big projects and to lots of various different home tasks that we have undertaken so there's thorough videos on all the various different rooms in the house as well right so we're gonna start off in the lounge Bean is going to help with this tour. Oh, and so is Bumble by the looks of it. So as you can see, it's quite a big space, I think, at least for a two bedroom terrace, but that's the beauty of living in a really old house. And we've got all these nice little features like this archway over here, which we had these solid oak shelves custom made and it makes just a nice little feature. Uh, Simon, or I designed this uh, faux fireplace and Simon made it from my drawing on a bit of scrap paper and I think it's quite effective especially for a period property like this as well. Um, so in terms of seating we've just got uh, Simon's Eames chair over there Eames, Ames, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, and then over here we've got our sofa, which Bumble is probably about to hop on and demonstrate. Is that a nice bee? My artwork up there, which you guys might have seen me making over on Instagram. It's basically plaster art. Hi bee. Hello darling. Um, the grass has just been mowed specifically for this video, so there's probably going to be grass all over the floor now. But yeah, this is our lounge and obviously dining space over here. Right, now we're gonna go, oh, Bo's come to join the party. Hi, darling. Now we're gonna go up the stairs and we're gonna go into the bathroom because this is the next room. That's why, because this is on the order of service. So this room we had done not long ago. This was the last room in the house to be done all fresh and new and that's because we knew we were going to be selling and we needed to sort the bathroom out because as you might have seen on the home account on Instagram there were so many faults with our old bathroom it was unreal so we had it done to this I'm not going to spend too much time in here because we have literally just done an entire video on the renovation of this room so you guys can hop over on the home playlist I believe and you can catch that entire video on how we kind of transformed this bathroom so there we go there's the bathroom now if we head out and we go up the stairs into our master bedroom right so this is our master bedroom the main bedroom in the house um, so this is where Simon and I sleep. I'm just going to take you guys over here so we can have a better look at things. Very self-explanatory, guys. This is just our bedroom. Um, so obviously we've known that we were going to be upping and moving for quite some time. So there's been lots of things in this room like the picture here, which is just a decennio one. These were things which I wouldn't have kept if we were staying here long term potentially would have put something over the bed done something a bit better with the wires on our bedside tables got these pictures over here as well which were never supposed to be permanent they were just sort of place markers if you like 
but I love this room it's really calming I love the color I went for which I'll list all of the paint colors and stuff for those of you that don't know down in the description box um, lots of little DIYs in here as well like the doggy steps and yeah there we go there is our master bedroom right so leaving our main bedroom oh actually do you know what I forgot to show you in here this is where I keep my shoes for those of you who are new it is my shoe wall and they are hidden behind these curtains just so that it doesn't look highly unattractive so yes all of this space in here the shoe wall and these double wardrobes and the chest of drawers on the other side and the shoe cupboard out here those are all mine simon's are in the spare room so we're going to head out onto the landing stairs hallway whatever you want to call it yeah this was basically because of the super high height of this ceiling which you could eventually the loft is whoop up in there you could someone new buyer potentially whoever lives here in the future could eventually go up into the loft but that's not something we wanted to do but because of this super high ceiling when we did the renovations back at the start of the last year 2020 we did decide to add some of these period features in here just to give it a little bit more of a a grand effect if you will so we've got this dangling light fixture we've got our black and white photos of all our good times and um, yeah we went with the same paint as we have on one of the walls downstairs in the lounge and then added in this very magnificent and it's a feature I love but this absolutely amazing uh, coving or cornice as I think it's called now as we are a two-bedroom terrace we're gonna move into our second bedroom which we call the spare room the guest room Simon's wardrobe, Simon's dressing room, if we want to call it that. Pretty much all of this stuff is staying as well. Our buyer is a first time buyer, so they want to keep a lot of um, this kind of furniture. Um, so yeah, we're going to have quite a bit to fill the new house. We're going to have to get a choir quite a bit to fill up the new house. But yes, this is our spare bedroom, AKA the Pharaoh and Ball nightmare. <laughs> right, now we are back in the lounge and we're gonna go downstairs, another set of stairs into the kitchen, which this was one of the first like really big renovations we've never done a kitchen project before never had a new kitchen fitted in any of our homes that we've lived in and um, so this was one really big project that we had done i think it was in 2018 there's a whole video on that renovation which actually was a really popular video you guys really liked it but if anyone that's new hasn't seen it yet it's over in that home playlist um, there are some similarities between this kitchen and the kitchen in our new house but i'm not going to go into loads of detail about that now you guys will have to wait and see we've got some exciting stuff planned but this is basically a galley kitchen as you can see and then down in this end section this was where oh hello you weren't expecting that were you can i also just look at simon's sock and slipper scenario super fancy, <laughs> super fancy very fancy indeed um yes we've got this little table here which we kind of use as like a little breakfast table huh that made we did yeah we had this made so we or i bought the base from a company in italy or it did actually come with a top on it but then we had this is a quartz um worktop which is the same but just a slimmer version the same as the worktop that we've got here so this is going to be staying um, which I was just about to explain. This is actually going to be staying because it was made for this area and as are these chairs which we swapped out because some of you might have seen over on the home account on Instagram we did have some Seska chairs here in oak and those we wanted to keep so we whipped these out the loft and said right this table is gonna stay because it specifically matches the kitchen uh, worktops, but these are the chairs that will stay. So our Seska chairs are currently up, nicely, safely wrapped in the loft and they'll be coming with us. Now, 
Being an old and ancient house in London, we have the bonus of dum, 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 the basement. So yeah, this area, it's, it's an added bonus, you know, in a two bedroom terrace, which is, I would consider quite a small home, although we're obviously very lucky because this one being old is not like a new build. It's very quirky. We have all these hidden extras. So we do have this as added space. And for us, this made just sense that we used it for a fitness area. And then over in the other half, as you can see, this has been made into a utility, which is very nice because I've never had a separate utility area before. And then we've got some storage cupboards here, which have got my candles and washing stuff in there. And then another bigger cupboard under here, which has got our giant refills, Furbo, iron, Karcher cleaner, sewing machine, etc. And then we've got our laundry basket over there, some more storage over here in a little um, makeshift sort of shelving unit which Simon crafted and um, this is a bit of a sore topic because <laughs> Simon obliterated one of his thumbs adding in these shelves because I asked him to make one of them slightly smaller and it was just a whole ordeal so we won't discuss that when Simon's around because it brings back traumas of a very sore thumb got another cupboard here um, which has got an automatic light and we've just got DIY shoes, dog walking shoes, Hoover, Aeras, you know, other sort of utility paraphernalia in there. So yes, there's a whole basement video which you guys can have a perusal at if you so choose and you can see the whole process. Now if we go back out, I am going to take you out into the garden which looks nice and sunny at the moment. And we're gonna have a little look out here. So we've got the barbecue, it's currently wrapped up because we've just had awful rain over the last however long. We're actually due more rain today, which is just horrific. And then we've got um, really large, too large for us to be honest, but it's nice when we have people over. Uh, garden seating area on here. Simon has just very kindly mowed the grass, so it's uh, not looking as bad as what it normally does, but this is our garden in all its fully grown glory. I think we're gonna miss this because Simon's put so much effort into like establishing the garden to what it is, all the plants, and a lot of the plants we've planted ourselves and like watched them grow over the last 10 years. And it's, it's a nice little safe space. Obviously we had um, all the lockdowns in this garden and it was just, yeah, it was just a nice place for us to be and I think we were both really thankful. So saying goodbye to this garden is gonna be a little bit tough, I think. We do have a garden in our new place, but I think it's just a little bit of a sentimental thing. Right, moving down the end, I'm just gonna put my hand over here because there is, unfortunately, one of the dogs has just been to the toilet. So I'm really sorry for anyone that's just got the view of a tiny little dog turd. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Um, so we have a couple of sun lounges down at the bottom of the garden and some planters down here. This is our storage for the covers that go all over the garden furniture. And in here, which I must apologise, it's not looking in its usual glory. But this is the well-known room of my studio. So throughout lockdown, I used this for painting and obviously this is where I used to film. So this is set up in lots of different ways. I've got lots of props and seating and mirrors and equipment and stuff down here. Over on the other side, which is, I actually use this side for filming. So you guys might like be sort of familiar with the setup. I'm usually sat there and my screen is behind me. But over on this side, this is the very clear evidence that we are moving house. Um, so in here I have my treadmill, which cut a long story short, we ordered this months ago, it arrived, we put it together, it didn't work, the company had to come and collect it and bring us a new one. The new one is in there, as we knew by that point we were gonna be moving because we'd had our offer accepted, had sold this house. We basically decided to leave this in the box because it is a commercial treadmill. It is ginormous and probably takes about five people to carry it. And we just thought it would be a better idea to carry it 
in the box rather than when it is fully erected if that makes sense um, and then we've just got some crap in here our spare mattress which we are going to be taking with us this was our old mattress but we're going to be using that as a makeshift mattress in one of our new bedrooms so yes this is my filming studio which is again another added bonus of space for such a for such a small you know two bedroom terrace it is a really good bonus to have and especially for us for me filming it is a dream if you will well there we go that was it the final tour in this house not gonna get emotional <laughs> the truth is i actually will get very emotional on moving day but that's by the by so thank you as always for watching and stay tuned for all of the upcoming home content because we're gonna have a content <laughs>